What's going on YouTube? This is Rob A again, and it is time for some Lego. Uh, this is actually going to be my very first Lego Star and Wars review. That said, we're going to take a look at set 9496 Desert Skiff. It's got 213 pieces, and it retails for about $20, uh, which is actually pretty good considering uh, you know it's 200, it's over 200 pieces. You get four minifigs, and uh, those are Luke Skywalker, of course, uh, Boba Fett. Uh, Kathaba and Lando Calrissian uh, in his uh, bounty hunter gear. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You also get a Sarlacc pit monster here. Um, and yeah, it's pretty pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, it shows some of the play features, uh, such as a hiding spot for the blasters, a slide out uh, plank. Um, and a you know open and closing mouth on the on the sarlacc, and of course I, I believe you get these clear clear pieces as well to kind of uh, give the impression of floating. Um, so if I get enough excess <laughs> money or you know or if it goes on a, a decent sale, I'll probably pick up uh, Jabba's palace and the Rancor Pit as well, because those are some of my favorite parts from the uh, from the films, which is why I went out and got this guy. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to open this guy up and put it together, and uh, we'll see what the set's all about. Alright guys, so here we have our Desert Skiff, all ready to go, and go on some crazy sci-fi adventures. Um... And here we have our four minifigs that uh, that come with the set, <clears throat> and we'll start with meh, Mr. Boring Face. Yeah, why not? We'll start with Mr. Boring Face here. Uh, good old Luke Skywalker. Been in plenty of sets, plenty of sets. Um, I've only got older versions of this guy though. This is my first new one, and uh, yeah, I like I like the printing. He's got front and back printing. Uh, nothing on the back of his head. Uh, he's got a very stern face going on here. And uh, he, of course, comes with his uh, not chrome, but nice metallic silver lightsaber handle with the uh, with the sweet lime green freezy pop blade going on. And that's uh, that's Luke. That's Luke. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm gonna get my hand cut off by my dad. All right, Luke, that's great. Why don't you go wait right over here and stand up straight? St nope, no, stand up straight. Next up, we have uh, less boring, but not as interesting unless you're, you know, collecting the minifigs, uh, of course. Uh, we have our, I don't know, guard, bounty hunter, Kathaba. He's got a wrinkly green dog face. And he's got some stuff around his uh, chest there, uh, a little bandolier going on, and uh, yeah, overall, very nice print. I think they did a great job on it. Um, I don't really, other than knowing that he was, you know, there, um, I don't really know anything about this character, uh, so I can't really speak too much to that, but here he is. He was there. <laughs> I'm Kathaba, and I was there. All right, Kathaba, that's great for you. Go wait over here with Luke, okay? All right, beautiful. <clears throat> and of course, what would this set be without sweet, sweet Lando Calrissian? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got his little pole axe going on here. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Very nice torso printing. Uh, you can see he's got like kind of an aged armor sort of uh, look going on there. And on the back, very nice printing going on. And of course, you can take the helmet off to see his, uh, his 45 smile 
if you know what I mean. Man, he's got some some glimmering eyes. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I love this minifig. And uh, you can see the uh, the helmet here as well. It's pretty pretty awesome. They did a great job. They put a lot of they put a lot of effort into these uh, these little accessories for these uh, Star Wars sets. <clears throat> and I'm going to ruin it all by not being able to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there you go. You can stick that right back on him. And uh, Lando, you just keep cool, man. You just stay over here with the other guys. All right. Just hang out there, buddy. Thank you. And last but certainly not least is Boba Fett. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've had a, a million... Boba Fett minifigs at this point, some with more printing than others. Um, this one's kind of in the middle. Uh, he does not have any arm printing, uh, but he does have nice, nice, very nice leg printing. You can see the metallic on there. Um, very nice chest printing. Um, excellent helmet printing. It's a very nice looking helmet. Um, no, no kind of printing or paint on the the. Uh, backpack, the jetpack, which is kind of disappointing, but <clears throat> and uh, now of course that the prequels have come out Boba Fett gets a face under the mask, so he is, uh, you know he looks like that there you go um, and we'll, we'll let you see the back printing real quick and he has this little little cloak oh, there's no back printing ah, that's, that's what I get for uh that's what I get <laughs> for whatever, whatever I did. That's what I get for it. And uh, I'll just reassemble this guy here. Uh, he's very cool looking. I like the minifig. It's pretty sweet. I don't have any of my other Boba Fett minifigs to compare them with, but uh, you can see it looks like looks like Boba Fett. And he's got a blaster, and that's pretty cool. And uh, he's gonna wait over here with the other guys. Oh, oh, or, whoops, sorry Boba Fett. So, as long as it's relevant, we may as well talk about this guy right here. You get the little uh, Sarlacc monster, and um, yeah, it's it's very neat, you know, it's very simple build, uh, but just a lot of decent pieces, some nice sand, uh, sand corners and things like that, and uh, it's pretty... It's pretty decent for what it is, and it's cool that you can you can actually fit a minifig inside of his mouth, uh, such as this poor sucker right here, and uh, just close it right up, and nom, 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 and there you go. And that is really all there is to it for uh, for the Sarlacc pit creature. It's got tentacles. You can you can wave these around. So uh, he could be Cthulhu, and Cthulhu can eat Cthaba, and then it can be a whole, whole paradox of craziness. Um, but yeah, that's a Starlock monster, and we're gonna put him and Boba Fett off to the side, and uh, fly in this little guy here, and take a look at it. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we've got the desert skiff here. And as you can see, uh, Lego was kind enough to supply us with these uh, nice, clear, clear cylindrical bricks, uh, so that it can give the appearance of floating. And I think it does a great job. Like, um, it, it show, actually shows up more on camera than it does with the naked eye, uh, and it really does give a great, uh, great impression of flying. Um, it's got some controls in the back here, just very simple, greebly controls. Uh, that we're used to seeing with the Star Wars stuff. Um, it's got the it's got the mandatory flick fire missile here. Of course, of course. Um, <clears throat> you can adjust the uh, I don't know if these would be rudders or wings or just steering yada yadas, but you can do that. You can play with those. They go they go up and down a little bit as well. They're on the little little hinge uh, brick pieces. Uh, I like the the curvature of the back here. I think they did a, a good good job overall, definitely. Um, another feature, you can pop this middle bit open and there are some uh, some guns hidden away in here. So you can have an all-out uh, shoot-em-up fight. 
over the desert and uh, Kathaba here can stand behind and, and man the man the controls <clears throat> Lando can guard the prisoner and uh, then you can come around to this side and you can pull out the uh, the the plank, uh, basically, or as as Luke uh, uses it, the diving board. And uh, yeah, so you can have that going on. You can you can recreate all your favorite scenes from that one part in that one movie where Boba Fett dies. I believe that's the official official terminology for it. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's a very cool little set. Um, I don't have Jabba's Palace. I don't honestly know if I'm going to get Jabba's Palace. Uh, I may try and get Jabba's Sail Barge, but it's also going to be very expensive. Um, so we'll see what happens if you know if a sale comes along. But in the meantime, uh, I I did enjoy this this part of the of the the film trilogy. Um, I thought it was really cool. I like the whole Jabba thing going on. Um, and I think this set really represents it well. Um, you get four really nicely done minifigs. Uh, I mean, the Star Wars sets always go all out for the minifigs. That's, that's what it is. It's about the characters uh, more so than anything else. Um, <clears throat> and I think this is this is no exception. It does a great job, uh, both with the characters and the the you know the the subject matter at hand, the vehicle. Um, and the, the basic scene of the of the film trilogy, um, so I'm gonna give it a recommend. I think it's a it's a great little set. It's uh, it's not expensive. It's like twenty dollars depending on where you find it, and for four minifigs and and the the Sarlacc monster and the the skiff, I think it's a good definitely good deal. Um, I actually got this one on Amazon for like sixteen bucks, so pretty awesome. Um, so I think that's going to do it for my very first LEGO Star Wars review. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do, really do appreciate it. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.